please like and subscribe to these videos and comment below if you have questions about doing something on your own boat. Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. Today we're gonna to show you how to install this basic stainless steel cleat from pontoonstuff.com. This is one of the options they offer. It has two posts and will through bolt through your deck. When we're situating this, I'm gonna make sure that I'm clear, or I just wanna take into account any of the cross members that might be there. It's okay to go through them, uh, but I just wanna make sure I'm not on the edge of one or on the back side of one. From here, I'm gonna kinda of space this out. I need to take into account once this sinks down, I don't wanna be hitting my knuckle on the, the corner cap. So I'm gonna come this way just a little bit, and then I need to take into account the width here, which is slightly wider at the bottom than the top. So I don't wanna mount it so it's resting part way on the rub rail and part way on the deck. I have good spacing here. So ball parking first, then I can take some measurements so I can do these symmetrical on each side. If I go back a little bit farther, I'm right at three inches with this, this post. And then I can come in exactly one inch here. So I measure them exactly one inch on the back as well. And then I can make my marks with a marker. So I'm just gonna tip this back and make two marks just on the edge of those posts. Then I can take a drill bit. This is a 5 16 bit. I'm gonna run straight down through my floor. Usually I can wiggle it back and forth and get it to drop down. As a worst case, I may have to take a rubber mallet or a dead blow hammer or rest a two by four on top and you can hit it down with a regular hammer. But I like my spacing there. I'm ready for the hardware. In your hardware bag, you're gonna get two sets of a flat washer, a locking nut, or sorry, a locking washer, and then a nylock nut. This is gonna make sure that these stay in place permanently. I'm gonna thread this on, break away any of the deck that might have splintered out. And then with a deep well half inch socket, I'm gonna hand tighten these. You have to be careful if you try to run an impact of seizing up, they are stainless nuts and bolts, so more tend to seize up with an impact. And just like that, we've got nice sturdy stainless cleats that look nice and are gonna hold up for the long haul.